Animating! Alright, animating usually starts with some reference. That's the best way to start. It helps if you have, like, movies or other cartoons to go from, but if you can't find what you're looking for, helps if you just do it yourself. As you see, I'm uh, trying a few different methods, uh, and <laughs> I do look ridiculous, but that's alright. That's all part of the job. The important part is that you don't, you know, record yourself, then put it online. I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, right, after that, you know, the reference takes seconds to do, if you get it right, or get a friend to do it, and then it's right back into building your roughs. Uh, so once again, you know, roughs are very important, they tell you where you're going, you just need the bare bones, literally, of where you're, uh, what you're doing. If a uh, pose is a little complicated, you can use different colors, uh, but have your reference nearby, it really helps out a lot. Like, as you see, I'm uh, comparing the line of action, the spine, the torso. You don't have to keep the exact pose, you can play around with it a bit, uh, but you know, it's just, it's great to have a starting point. So, there's a little example of what you can do with that. Okay, uh, once you have your uh, roughs in, uh, you can start adding uh, more detail to each of the roughs to flesh out where the clothing and all this uh, extra stuff is going. You get to plan ahead and so you can start to uh, see where like secondary motion on the uh, jacket and the hair and the uh, handkerchief all comes in uh, and once again uh, like it's it's good to spend time doing your uh, roughs and getting it out properly uh, but you can always adjust every step of the way uh, as you're uh, getting it more flushed out so you can see that I'm moving things around it doesn't always follow the rough exactly uh, have the hand come in a, little, a lot more, uh, he's a lot more hunched over, and then you get to uh, test it out again. Testing out is very important. Once again, like if you have somebody nearby to have a, a second view of it, it's, it's great. So uh, you get a, another opinion, can go in and flush it out more. <clears throat> so here, uh, it's basically now just on to building and rebuilding for <laughs> all the poses that you've set in. Now this is for like a, more of a classical animation type thing. Normally I just do a uh, bit more moving parts, which doesn't require so much uh, redrawing. But for uh, this one, I actually uh, have the parts inside uh, hit uh, set to play once rather than a single frame. Uh, because, uh, well, pretty much all the parts are going to be... Uh, different, but I do like to keep them separate rather than all in one layer so I can adjust everything. Whew. Oh boy. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Once again, please uh, like and subscribe. It helps a lot.